All right, here's a new series of vlogs I want to do. I just thought I would start a series called My Rural Neighborhood. I happened to see this on my drive uh, back from work. <clears throat> so here we have kind of a little canopied vending machine chalet. Um, the only thing that's interesting is alcohol machine. We also have a tobacco machine. There's Marlboro. Lark, more Marlboro, Philip Morris. <clears throat> now these you do have to have a card to get the cigarettes out. Um, so I don't think I saw anything on the alcohol machine. I'll look when I walk back by. The, the weird thing is, is this is right near my um, my college, um, so you can, you, cigarettes, you know, and then just lots of beverages. Um, so, weirder than it being near my college, because, you know, I think you can smoke at 18, it might be 20. You definitely, you can't drink until you're 20, but again, that's not very strict in Japan. But about... Maybe two and a half, three blocks that way is an elementary school. And I see elementary kids and junior high kids walking along here all the time. So they walk by these machines all the time. Now again, like I said, this this machine to get to get to the cigarettes, you have to have an ID card that you've gone somewhere and filled out a form and shown your driver's license and proven your age, and then they give you this card that you would press up against here to be able to get the cigarettes. But the alcohol machine, I'm not so sure. Hopefully they have a similar ID type of system, but to be honest, they probably just don't. So, a peek into my rural neighborhood. Hopefully I'll do some more of these, just weird, quirky things that I found around uh, my town. Some of them will be unique, some of them will be very typical. I think these are very typical of Japan, but its proximity to my college and elementary schools was interesting to me. Okay, see ya.